JPM Assault coming at ya with my Shurnix Bull Pup. Pretty much done. Painted it. Got the wheel brake on. Fixed the tab. Up here, got that fixed. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. It, uh, it only took about a half a day on a Saturday and a weekend to disassemble paint and put back together a couple days later after it fully dried. I like it. The only other thing I want to do is smooth the edge of this trigger out. There's the 70 type 74 muzzle brake that is for a 76239 by all means just a type 74 very nice threaded it myself cut the barrel at 16 and a half inches with the muzzle brake on it comes to a little just a little under 30 overall love this gun this thing rocks the only other thing I want to do is I'm going to get a thumb screw. I'm going to thread. I'm going to thread this. And I'm going to ditch all this cable. I hate it. No matter which way I put it, it gets in the way. It's got to go. So I'm going to thread that and put a thumb screw on it. But this I fab that. Let's see if we can get it, get it there. It's pretty good. I fab that out of some eighth inch metal. Anyway, here's some pictures of me painting it, a few little excerpts. It, I had two hours into painting it. It is slow, and that was just the main body, you know, and getting it all prepped and ready. And I sprayed it up into my, my little booth, as you'll see in the, works great. It was my first test run, so I'm also, I got my, my uh, reloader. I traded that for a good friend of mine. He gave me this for painting his stock, which I have yet to do. But of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this here real soon. My Mosin, get that bad boy painted and Cerakote the action burnt bronze. I'm gonna cut the barrel off to 21, 22, and. Put a totally different muzzle brake on it. I robbed the muzzle brake off and put it on this. Very nice muzzle brake. I haven't shot it yet, but with as much as it did for the Mosin, I'm sure it's going to help this by a lot. The other thing I'm going to do is put a uh, uh, like four by thirty scope on this. This is just I don't know. I'm gonna I want to reach out to 100 yards, and this just don't do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. coming at you got my paint paint booth ready and I'm gonna paint some of my uh, stock here so you can see this is my SG works SKS stock that one of my subscribers was mentioned how his tab broke so I ended up fabbing this for metal but um, what I'm doing today is painting it. I'm going to do a sponging technique I've been seeing for camo. And I'm going to get all this stuff painted. I'm going to do a little bit of the stock and the rest of it I'll do off camera because of time constraints. So let's get busy. I've already taken and uh, scuffed them all down with 320 and scuffed them with 320. And then I took and 
washed it and I used a uh, can and I just hold it over it and spray it with some uh, brake cleaner, carburetor cleaner and then take and um, hang it back up, towel it all dry, get it all clean after I scuffed it. Come on, get in there. So, anyway, I got all those prepped and ready to go. And I got some uh, gray etch primer I'm gonna put down. And let's get busy. Turn my fan on. I'm gonna try low speed. This is my virgin run of this. I've made a few of these. These are real easy to make. Uh, Basically a chunk of wood and some hot glue. You can make some nice stands to just about fit anything. Quick, easy, you can go to construction yards and get scrap wood. And um, like this here, that way you can hold on to it. It's just all hot glued. I did put a screw in that one. And then I hot glued it. And it just fits right on there nice and easy. Pretty stable. Now before you get to spraying, you obviously want to have all your stuff ready to go. As you can see, I already got a bunch of stuff hung up. I've already tested pulling it on and off so I can get it all on and off pretty easily without a big fight. So I can come out here, spray it. Let's see, we're getting that, yeah. So you spray it and then hang it back up and move to the next tool. I think uh, I was gonna do them all at once, but I think I'm gonna skip all this stuff and just do this, this, and this, and then I'll do the little parts on a separate blow. So for right now, we're just gonna spray these three parts. And the first thing you wanna do is get it all clean, get them scuffed, and you wanna blow the dust off. Now I see a lot of people tend to uh, spray this stuff on the ground. I don't recommend that. I've sprayed, I've been spraying cars for almost 25 years now and the ground's not where to do it. You want to get up off the ground and you want airflow. Airflow is what gets your paint to dry right. So I've been shaking this forever in here, so let's go ahead and start spraying it. This is just an edge primer specifically for plastics. See, so I can tilt this up real nice. You don't want to hose it, you just want, you want it wet, but not dripping. I should be wearing a respirator, but I'm not. A little more air. A medium, let's try medium. to get it all coated with the edge primer. Okay, there's that. Get this coated. Ooh, sticky. Let's get over here where we can do this. More gloves. You don't want this shit all over your hands. Now, I've been watching a lot of other videos, and everybody's saying to start with your lightest color, and you know, it's not bad, but I disagree with it a little bit. The predominant color of your area, if you're like in the desert, you got sand as your predominant color. If you're in a snow country, and that's your predominant color, white. Uh, you want to start with your predominant color. I live in a very green, foresty part of the country. So I'm going to be starting with kind of an olive green. And I got a few sponges. Try them. And what we're going to do is just 
dab it on. Let's see where we're at here with the camera. Yeah, we'll just stay right there, I guess. This is the first time I've done it, so I have no idea what I'm going to end up with here. I'm already kind of liking it, it's pretty cool. That alone is pretty cool. A little bit of green, and we're going to go ahead and add, I'm going to do four, do four colors, one, two, three, four, I got five colors, so. I'm gonna get all ape shit on it. And I was gonna do digital camo. Oh, easy. Easy. But man, that just seemed like a big pain in the ass. I don't wanna spend forever and a year working on the gun. I'd rather be shooting. Completely random. 